Hi there, this is Fevzi Korkutata. I'm an Oracle Ace and working on middleware and SOA technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor Java Keystore certificates expiration dates. Let's start. I have a script which is monitor JKS. Let's look at that file. This is the file that's monitoring Java Keystore certificates expiration dates. At the end, uh, if the certificate expiration date is bigger than threshold, it will send us a notification. And I'm going to integrate this script with WLSDM. Okay, let's check imported certificates in the Java Keystore file. Okay, I have six imported JKS entries. I'm concentrate on Voltred.com. So let's check this certificate. Yeah, this is my certificate. Let's monitor it. Let's give a threshold for the remaining dates and get an alert and notification for this certificate entry. Okay, I'm switching to WLSTM console. Go to monitoring and diagnostic page. Click on user defined actions and scripts. In the page operation menu, let's click new user defined action scripts. I'm giving a name. Let's get the path. Okay. You have to give full path for the file. Okay, I have added my script to WLSTM as an action. Let's go to Schedule Jobs and Downtime tab. Click on New Schedule Job Downtime and choose User Defined Actions. This is the action that I've entered in the previous step. Okay, uh, we have to define a Chrome expression. Uh, normally, uh, in the production environment, uh, monitoring every midnight uh, is enough for monitoring Java Keystore files, for, but for the test, I'm going to choose every minute. Okay, that's it. Let's look at the file again. This is my threshold, which is a hundred days. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but uh, in a production environment, I think five or seven days uh, is enough to get a notification about the JKS certificate entries. Okay, let's refresh page. Okay, uh, currently WLSTM scheduler has a one minute cycles after one minute, it executes all the scheduled jobs. Yes, uh, it worked. Let's see history. Let's drill down more details. Everything is just okay for this 
cycle. Uh, I can see my scripts output in here. Look at the Voltred com. Uh, it has 120 days remaining for the certificate expiration. So if I increase the threshold, I'm going to get a notification about this certificate. Let's change the threshold. I'm changing the threshold to 150. If the remaining deaths is lower than 150, I'm expecting to get a notification about this certificate. I'm still waiting for the next cycle. It worked twice successfully. Okay. As you see, uh, the last status is just failed. Let's check it out. For the Voltred Com certificate, I have got a warning. So this means I'm able to get a notification for the ex for the expired certificates. So I have to do something about this certificate. Let's check my email. Okay, I have got another email for the successful entries. I'm not expecting to get an email, but for the failed certificate checks, I'm getting a notification, an HTML notification like this. I'm also seeing that all the output in my email. So let's click on the URL. Okay, I have also seen the results in the WLSTM console. So that's it. Uh, it's very important to monitor your production imported certificates uh, because if the certificate just expires, uh, your HTTPS transactions will fail. It will give SSL handshake errors. So uh, it does. It is not good for production environment. A proactive administrator also should monitor the JKS certificate entries. Thank you very much and have a good day.